everybody um come down on a very bright very early Wednesday morning um come down to check on the baby mice um they're not door mice as I thought they were they're actually um what were they wood mice um, I'm just going to sit here and see if any signs of the mother coming back. I've had a look and there's no straw out, outside of the tub. There's no real signs of her going into the tub or anything. I haven't opened it. I've just left it where it was. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit here for a little while. Nice and quiet. And uh, see if she comes back. As you can hear, all the birds are singing. <laughs> you probably heard the chickens near our plot. Um, there's the chickens there. Uh, there's some chickens anyway. We've got some more over that way. That way. You yeah, it is that way. That way. <laughs> There's some over there as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit here nice and quiet. I've got a good, good view of, might be able to see it because the sun's just starting to come up. There you go. Like I said, it's about six o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if I can see her come back. If not, I'm going to leave them there for the time being. Um, I'll call the RSPCA back up and see what they can do. Um, if they're not going to bother, I'm going to see if I can hand rear them on my own on some goat's milk. Uh, I've had a look on the internet and they say goat's milk is a good, good substitute. Um, they shouldn't be too long before they start opening their eyes. And once they start opening their eyes, I can uh, give them up crumble digestive biscuits. So we'll see how that goes. We'll, like I said, I'll, I'll sit here for about an hour and see if I si see any signs of movement over there from the mother. Um, then I'll leave them there while, while I go and get some goat's milk. I've got to see if I can find someone with a small tank for them. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed the mother does come back. Um, I'll give you an update in a little while. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've left it a little while. Um, no signs of the mother being back. No signs that the mother has been in there at all. So, there's the little guys in there. Hopefully it's focusing alright. But that's the little guys.
it's not going to focus properly. But that's him. Um, I am going to take him home because it is quite damp out here and I will take them home. Um, it's a bit early to call the RSPCA at the moment. Um, actually, I might do that. Let me let me give the RSPCA a ring, and uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Right, I've just given the RSPCA another call. Um, they've told me to take them home and keep them warm and keep them safe. Um, I'm, they're going to give me a call back as soon as someone can uh, come and collect them. Um, I'm very surprised they're not injured. I mean, this is where they were. They were underneath this tarpaulin. And we've been walking on it. Their nest was around about there. But they were found there. Not in the nest at all. So, anyway, I'm going to take these home. I will sort this video out. I, I might even upload it now. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to take these little little ones home. Keep them away from our Ralphie Roo. And uh, I shall let you know tomorrow what's happened. So that's the end of this one. It is nice out here this time in the morning, isn't it? All the birds singing. Yep. Well, I'm going to go home. Um, I'll see you all a bit later. Oh, sorry for the sun there. Sun glare. I'll see you a little bit later. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. That way you can stay up to date what's happening with these little guys. So, uh, also that Next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell. If you press that little bell, you'll get updates. Well, you'll get notifications when I put a new video on. So for now, lazy bye.